I'm Dan Hort at Nippert Stadium where the UC Bearcats held their 15th and final spring practice on Thursday. And the question for Bearcat fans is obvious. Has a leader emerged in the battle for starting quarterback between Evan Prater and Ben Bryant? You got to kind of evaluate with the ones and with the twos. And in spring ball, that is difficult because you got a lot of guys out. Uh, there's not a consistency, I think, when you're rolling those guys around. So I don't know that it's fair to say who's ahead, who's not ahead, where they are. We know that going into fall camp, it's going to be a competition. Those guys got to work together and hope that we can figure that thing out by the time you know the season rolls around. In addition to replacing as many as nine NFL draft picks, Coach Fickle has five new position coaches who stepped in this spring. I really, really like the way that they're meshing, not just with the coaches, but with the players as well. You know, to, to put those guys in situations, they're walking in like some of these young guys. Like, you know, they've been a lot of places, they've done a lot of things, um, but they are walking into maybe a new and different culture. And, and one that, you know, coming off the year that we've had and the last couple of years that we've had and the expectation, those guys have meshed in really, really well. And the players are tough. <laughs> these guys are tough and they love to work. I was really excited my first day of mad drills. You know, kind of first time really seeing the guys work, it was exciting. These guys practice hard, they do everything hard. They really love each other. Um, good teammates, very competitive, and I really like these guys in spring ball. Being able to work with the guys and, you know, even though it's a new, new staff, you know, being a former Bearcat and see the chemistry and the camaraderie that the guys have, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's really, really, really good to see. And, uh, you know, just everybody working together, um, it's, a, it's a real big time team atmosphere. Spring ball ended with the Bearcats splitting into two squads for a live full contact special team scrimmage. The tiebreaker for the winning squad was a 40 yard field goal by defensive end Jabari Taylor. Well, we had a coach that said beforehand, I had heard that if it came down to it, he could make a 40 yard field goal, no problem. So we challenged that I off offered that for a, for a winner loser and uh, they took it and he was not very good and it was not even close. And then they wanted another shot at it. And Jabari literally stepped up and said, I can do this, watch, I'll do it. Let me give me an opportunity. And they're like, I'm like, there's no way he's gonna do this. So we'll go ahead and give him a chance to do it and he'll embarrass himself too. And uh, he proved me wrong, so. Boy, to have a, a full practice, rushing a quarterback, playing run defense, getting off the block, and then kick a 40 yard field goal, that, that, was, that was awesome. After back-to-back -back American Athletic Conference championships, the Bearcats are about 140 days away from the start of a new season. It begins on the road at Arkansas on September 3rd. With the Bearcats at Nippert Stadium, I'm Dan Horde for GoBearcats.com.